This leg. It's imperative he wins again. this leg. Oh, baby. Oh, man. Missed it again. again. Gee. Oh. Wow. Makes any sense. He told his wife this morning he wished he was a little bit more nervous. Interesting. Well, Mike's going to have an opportunity. Ah. Hey, look at this. Finally, he gets a shot. Back. 13 ball. All right, here he goes. I didn't want to do that. He didn't oh, want to do boy. that. Oh, maybe I didn't. Jesus. He was not looking to hit the 14 ball. He was looking to come two rails and out. He, he's, he's a wreck right now. <laughs> he needs to make this 10 ball in the corner pocket with authority, and he needs to run this rack out. And then we'll see the old Mike. Oh, he hit it. He's made two in a row for the first time in the match. Looked impossible. Going over with here. <coughs> mm. There may be an element of just trying to keep Efren seated for a while here. Well, I <laughs> I heard him say, someone asked him, you know, run eight in a row. He goes, I'm just going to win the game. <laughs> right. he, all he was thinking about was just winning a game. Right. You well, know, you got to take one ball at a time, one game at a time. Hold on. I might like to get this 12 and 11. I wonder how much of this is just trying to keep Efren off of his feet for a while. 15. I don't think that much. I think he's really playing the rack cautiously. I think Three he's in just a row. being very cautious. I'm not too good, though. Son of a gun. What he chooses. That's not too good. Now, how is that not too not good? Not he he left himself a pretty good pretty good shot, it looks to me. That's the average person now. Now you're the average person saying, well, that's an easy shot. Okay. Well, it is an easy shot, but if you look, the 9 ball and the 14 ball, the, boy, the, oh boy. he has to get like perfect on that. First. And the 12 ball, he wanted to get on first. I see. So now it's it's just, it's a little bit more difficult than if he got exactly where, a little bit more angle. And looking two shots ahead, sure. Tricky. I hit this ball here. Well, he either wanted a little bit more angle this. to come off the rail or a little straighter boom, boom. to draw the cue ball back. This is what the average person doesn't understand either, how important position is. If you mess up on your position, if you don't achieve your position, and you I don't run out. Ball. Yeah, and the position is after you make the ball in the pocket that you want, where do you want the cue ball to wind up? I don't think exactly. I like that either. And, and you, and you move right the here. cue ball around by... The speed in which you hit the shot and the English, where you hit the cue ball with the cue stick. Do you hit it low? Do you hit it left, right, high, high left, high right? How far high right? With what speed? With I'm what angle? i strategy here. And this is all the things that uh, a, a beginning player doesn't do. They're just trying to make the ball. Mike's not only just trying to make the you ball, he's trying to move that cue ball to the exact spot he wants it to go. And that's the key word is exact. No. Especially in eight ball, like exact it. spot. Something that we're watching here too. I appreciate the fact that there are, is no time clock, no, right, no time shot to where we're seeing thoughts here. Well, it's like it's like a Tiger Woods lining up a putt. Play a twelve. Now he chose this route, even though it's harder, but it's the only way he can get. 12 and a corner. On these two balls here. On the, yes, the 14 ball and the 9 ball. What a great shot. Oh! Roll, baby. What a great shot. That was, did you see how close that came to scratching? I don't, I, it, it, there wasn't a lot of room for him to make that shot now in between one, the 7 ball he there. He had to hit this with a lot of, very firm. Now look how close he came to scratching, but he, he had to, watch this, he <coughs> had to play it this way. It was his only chance. That's why I said I got to gamble. Mm. Can I draw that inside the pocket? Nine ball. <sighs> Again, we're looking. That there's a very yeah, two, little two room inches. for error between the nine ball and the eight ball to go into that Quite corner nine. pocket. <clears throat> two 
two balls to go and then the eight for the win. But not easy at all. He's going to play oh. a 14 ball oh, in the ball. side pocket. Oh. It's going to be easier. Another great shot. This has been a tough course, a very tough diagram on this table <laughs> I for Mike Siegel. It, it is. He it's definitely impossible. wanted to. I couldn't draw it to the rail, I don't think. Uh, he definitely wanted to stop in this position right here. Less angle on, on the 14 ball. Now he's got a big angle and again makes the top shot hmm. a little bit more difficult. It's going to hit here. 14. 14 in the side. Hold your breath on this one. Hold your breath is right. This is the key shot. He makes this. He wins the game because he can make the eight pretty easy. He misses this. Ephraim Reyes. The balls are all laid up. This is the key shot right here. I mean, the pressure's got to be incredible. Is he at all worried about knocking the eight ball in here? Because as an amateur professional hacker, that's what I'd be worried about. No, I don't think it's on the the angle to, to knock the eight ball. I don't okay. think he has to worry about that. He just needs to worry about making it. Missed it oh, a and he missed it. <sighs> missed it a diamond. That's the, see if he moves his head. See, yeah, he look. moved it up. He's not staying down on his shots. Momentum, and now he has handed the table back to Efren Reyes. And this isn't automatic. No, that's actually very See, look at that. Shot. See, that wasn't automatic. And again, down. Mike pops out of his chair. Bear down. Well, I'm cutting this in. I don't know what's going to happen. That's what I'm shooting at. I'm playing it over there in that corner. 14 ball in the corner. I got no clue what's going to happen, but I'm hitting it hard. I can tell you that right now. Shooting the 14 yeah, ball. That would lose him the game. Not even oh. He did hit that eight ball, though, afterwards. Second miss of the game for Mike Siegel. It looks like he's jumping up a little bit. Overcut both balls. Look at this. Three. Now three he ball. overcut that three. He overcut that 14 ball, and the cue ball did hit the, the eight ball. The eight, yeah. You know, Mike spent a lot of time over the last day or so talking about how much more experience he has at a championship table than the two or three players that may have gotten the opportunity to knock him off the hill. And so far, he's the one that appears nervous. Efren Reyes, calm and cool as a cucumber. Well, again, he's calm, though, because he's had the opportunity to shoot. <laughs> He's at the table. Right. He's making balls. Right. You know, when you're making balls, you start building your confidence. Mike has not had every shot virtually that Mike has had has been one in the corner. A must make, super difficult. He hasn't had shots like this. Where Efren is making balls and has right. some easy shots. That builds his confidence. Up. Hasn't had any layups. It's really true. Six in the corner. Really has been a, a decidedly different looking and sounding and shooting Mike Siegel than the one that beat you in the first ever IPT event, Lori John. That's because of nerves. <laughs> <laughs> Your nerves are his. <laughs> his now, mine then. <laughs> okay. Corner side. You know, Mike told us yesterday that when Efren Reyes first came to the U.S. from the Philippines in the Slime 80s, in the he blew through everybody, and nobody could find a way to stop him. Mike Siegel was the first person stateside to beat the magician, and that's why Mike has Efren's respect. Seven ball in the well, it's interesting because when they pulled uh, players, who, what player do you respect the most? Efren Reyes, answer, Mike Siegel. Eight ball in the corner. And Efren Reyes takes the first game in set two. And now gets, keeps the break. 
We have yet to see Mike Siegel break the balls. I mean, I got to hit the ball. On the left is yeah. Nick Varner. Game On the two. right is uh, Billy and Cardona, two uh, longtime friends of Mike. You know, even as cornerman at this point, they just need to keep encouraging him. There, there's, when but he's making a ball on the break and opening the balls up. <laughs> but when he has not made a ball on the break, look at the shots that Mike has had to shoot. And that's just really been bad the, luck. The way the balls have rolled, <laughs> yeah. Well, ten breaks in the match so far from Efren. In half those breaks, he has <laughs> dropped a ball and. Held on to the cue. But with this format where the winner breaks, anything can happen. If Mike wins a game, he then gets the break, right. and he could easily run five, six, seven racks in one a row. Ball. Again, he's going to shoot the one ball. Oh, oh wow. wow. Missed. Missed a layup there. Another opportunity now for the king of the hill. Now, again, is this this is pressure, isn't it, Lori John? I he, I don't know if he took his eye off of it or if he just missed it. Well, you know, Efren just a month and a half ago had had LASIK surgery on his eyes. He also has a neck problem. He just flew in from Japan. He's been pl and the good and the bad news is he's played ten matches in two days, twelve hours a day. Maybe fatigue, maybe the physical Four. things are Four taking ball. its toll. This is a huge break for Mike. He's going to kiss it. Oh. Yeah. You know, there may be some folks watching this at home that are saying, you know, maybe Mike just needs to get on the, onto the table and make some shots, shoot some shots, quit chatting, quit taking so much time, quit chalking your cue, drop a couple of balls and shut your mouth, and maybe you get rolling a little bit. I don't. To be very honest with you, Mike is having a hard time. He actually, on that first shot, he wanted, I'm almost positive, he wanted to kiss off of the two ball. And move it out. And move the two ball out. He, he even Try missed that on, the, on a straight in shot. Five. He's absolutely, now look at him. He's, he's, a play two con he's a mess. <laughs> he has to play two combinations in a row because he got out of position twice. Yeah, under the table. God almighty. What he miscued? That was just a complete clank job. What was that? I think he miscued. That was unbelievable. Well, you got to Mike Siegel needs to take a seat, close his eyes, put himself into his happy place for a little while, and and completely regroup because he he just flat tanked that last shot. You know, this is a Hall of Fame player voted as the greatest living pool player. Here's Renee Siegel, Mike's wife. 14. 14 ball. Boy, and once again, in in very similar fashion as to the first set, Efren Reyes taking advantage of some miscues. And Mike's in the corner saying that he has to just start freewheeling a little bit, and he does because he's so tight that he's almost. Now, I've been there. You, you almost go blind. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, he did say, I, I was correct, he did want to hit the two ball. Right. He on missed a straight it by a mile. Shot, didn't even come close. Didn't even come close. So you, you almost go blind in some spots. You just you lose all perspective. Well, it's like a golfer over a two-foot putt, which he'll make 100 times out of 100 and, and lip out or miss it by a mile. And you think, how could he miss that? He's a professional. And the answer is the nerves, the pressure, <coughs> all the, the muscle fibers begin to tighten up. It's very difficult when you are tight to loosen up, to, to, to freewheel, as Mike put it. 
because when you start, you, you want a free wheel, but then you might hit a ball side. right into the rail. <coughs> Obviously, he did not want to hit that seven ball. Ten ball. A lot of material here on this shot for Reyes. Now, these are the two, really, the two greatest players on the planet. Twelve in the corner. Bar none, because when you when you ask the average person, you know, who, or, or actually the pros, the peers, the on win. who the best players are. These two names come up all the time. Okay. And Mike Siegel is yet to win a game 2 nothing in this second set. Right, that one game. Right. He just needs to freewheel it and have fun. And he's going to get another. Oh, yep, makes a ball. I thought he was going to make get another opportunity there. Every rank looks so good, and I, and I can't run out. Well, once again, to bring folks back in uh, statistically, Mike Siegel easy. in 10 games so far has missed seven shots, really uncharacteristic. There weren't seven easy shots either, and that's really the challenge. Mike's shots that he's had that he did miss were all these really difficult, difficult shots. When you had the pressure, you, you know, the, even the greatest players in the world, like we're seeing, can miss those shots. We've seen Ephraim miss some shots. There yeah. you go, look at this. That one did not sound good right off the cue ball. He misstruck that ball. This is, I watched. I don't understand what's happening. That's the same sound as Mike. Is that a miscue? Ephraim was just laughing. It, miscue, and I'll tell you what, though. Those lights, those cameras, this, you know, the, the, the standing room only crowd. Every Hall of Famer is here for the first time in history to watch a pool match. Because this is the greatest match. Anything can happen. Do you know what people don't understand also as a player? When the cue ball is frozen on the rail, I don't care what shot you're shooting, it becomes a difficult Level shot. Ball. Oh, now you look at the, to, look at the shot he's that. picking. Oh. Wow. Are you, Lord John, are you surprised he didn't I, try to shoot the easier ball, the 10 ball? Uh, I'm, I'm uh, a little shocked. Uh, I'm, a sh <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just dumbfounded. Stounded here right now. Well, you know, maybe he's just not even thinking. Maybe he thought he was stuck with, with uh, stripes. Or perhaps, you know, Mike is just, <laughs> he's trying to think so far outside the box to get himself snapped back into consciousness. He wanted to shoot a wild hare and ended up missing. Stripes are definitely the right shot here because nothing, you know, you can shoot the 10 ball in the side pocket. Right. So right there, that, that would make it a correct choice of balls. But when you have not made a ball yet, I know me, I know I, I would have, and maybe maybe it would have been wrong, but I, I know I would have shot ball. the one ball. Right. God, this table's playing on the screen for you, man. I almost don't think Efren can believe this. I mean... <laughs> If you would have said this outcome right now. Clunk. Do you hear that? It's something's either wrong with his cue stick. There's something that. just doesn't sound okay. good. That last shot sounded a little cleaner, a little more pure. He got himself in a pretty good position for that ball in the corner pocket. As he drops the 12 ball. That was a beautiful stroke there. He hit the ball with high left-hand English, or middle left-hand English, or right-hand English, came one, two rails, and beautiful, beautiful line there. Yeah, that's called reverse English. A lot of people at home may not realize just how incredibly difficult that was to make the ball. He oh, needed to use that reverse English to put the cue ball there so he has a shot here. Drops the 14. And he's beautiful right in shot. position. That was beautifully done. Eight in a corner. Lost when the big money's on the line. 
And Mike, Mike knows he's just not representing himself well today. Right. Two balls dropped for Reyes on that break. Mike's saying it's embarrassing, and when you get to that point where you just want to crawl under the table and die, it, it, it's hard. It really is hard to, to, to come out of it. Trailing three games to none in what is an elimination set for Mike Siegel. The tables used are the official table of the International Pool Tour, the IPT, manufactured by Diamond. With the traditional size pockets, which are smaller, the cloth is official International Pool Tour tournament cloth, which is a map cloth, it's slower than a lot of the worsted cloths being used in uh, a lot of tournaments and tours. The balls are IPT tournament balls. Chalk is International Pool Tour tournament chalk. The, the finest equipment's being used here Toughest conditions, tougher than any condition in a pool room, generally speaking. Two in the corner. Now, Lori John, is Efren going to have any trouble with that cluster of balls in the middle of the table there? Well, no, because he's the magician. <laughs> <laughs> a normal human may have. He's got the four, seven, and eight real close to each other. There right. goes the four. Ooh. Just, did he want to do that? No, he, just, he didn't. He just did this. He did not want and to do ball, that. And now this ball, the eight ball, doesn't really go anywhere. No, that was definitely not something that he wanted to do. So he's going to watch for that. He's going to try to probably knock that out some somehow. As you can see, the seven ball, I don't know if he's going to be able to shoot this seven in this corner pocket. Um, if that goes, he's, he, he has that option or he has this option with this ball in the side pocket. And yeah, it looks like he's chosen the seven ball. He's got to clear that 12 ball too, which he does he nicely. Missed. Not an easy shot here. Almost misses that. Now he has to make a choice on where he's going to make this eight ball. Does the eight ball go anywhere? No, it doesn't. And that's he's why I'm, I'm trying to figure out which ball he's looking mm -hmm. at to possibly hit the 14 or go into the eight ball to just break them up. We go in the corner. You know, it seems to look from this match as though when you, you put Efren Reyes up on one foot, he, he really gets froggy up there and can hurt you, like Cher atop the piano. He gets, <laughs> he props himself up and he's real good. That he is. Now, I, I think he wanted the cue ball. There's no question that he wanted the cue ball to come over here instead of where he is. So he could have had angle on the six ball to possibly try and hit these, the eight ball. Six in the corner. But that did not happen. He's got to clear that ten ball, the blue stripe ball, which he does. These have not been easy shots in this rack for Efren Reyes. Too much, he draws into the ten. They got like perfect on it. Five in the side. Hit. Okay. So he was he trying was to get trying over to here get, yes. so he could play the eight ball down here. Yes. Yes. And he didn't do it. But now did not do it. he can still see it, can he? Does he have any kind of shot but, there? <laughs> Barely. He has to hit this eight ball first. He cannot hit this ball, the 14 ball first. Now, if he doesn't hit the eight ball first with the cue ball, well, there. then Mike Siegel has ball in hand. Yes. But it is not loss of game. Correct. But Mike but Siegel should be able to run these balls. There's no question. You would think. Eight in the corner. Okay, now, now this is... This is Magician. He doesn't have it. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. 
the pool gods. Unbelievable. Harry Houdini has taken notice from another world because this magician has quite an act tonight. Unbelievable. Anyway, if I can.